What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. You did! And today y'all, like I promised in my last video, if you didn't see my last video, I'm gonna put that link below. But if you didn't see my last video, I talked about my personal style and I told you guys that I was going to make a video on how to style flannels because my personal style is really that cozy grunge minimalist like I told you. And with any grunge aesthetic, it's not grunge if it isn't flannels incorporated in the wardrobe. If you call your style grunge and you don't have not one flannel or like a shirt flannel with the design on it, you might as well not even call it grunge. So today I'm going to show you guys how to style flannels. And like I said, I have three ones right here. I have this red nautica one. I have this like navy bluish white one. And then I have like this green and whitish one. And like I said, these shirts aren't the actual like flannel material. The ones that I had were too small, so I have to get some more. But these still have like that plaid, that flannel pattern on them. So they definitely, like from afar, you're going to think it's a flannel anyway. So I call them flannels. So whatever, here, there, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you guys three outfits of me styling the flannel shirts. And I try to like make them look a little bit different. Like you guys know, I really love tote bags, so I definitely incorporate. Ugh. I definitely incorporated. Uh, ugh. I definitely incorporated some tote bags in these outfits to add a little bit of oomph to the outfits. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these outfits. And just to let y'all know, all of these outfits are thrifty. Every piece in these ward in this wardrobe. Every piece in all of these outfits are thrifted. Like the flannels, the pants, the shirts, everything is thrifted. Except for the hoodie. Y'all know what I'm talking about in a minute because I'm about to explain the outfits. But most like y'all know, I'm a thrift head at heart. You know what I'm saying? I just thrift all day. You might as well call me the thrift guy. I know Paul Cantu. If y'all know who that is, he's out there thrifting and giving y'all thrift vlogs. Stay tuned to mine. But y'all call him the thrift guy. But hey, Paul Cantu, if you watching this. We might have to have a conversation. I might be the real thrift guy. You never know. But yeah, guys. So let's get into the first outfit that I'm going to talk about. The first outfit, I have this green, white, and like brownish, mustardy looking like flannel tee. It says Town Craft. I don't know what that is. But like I said, I got this out of the thrift store. This is an extra large. So this is one of the flannel shirts that I'm uh, piecing together. And I paired them with these bowling dog pants right here these tan khaki looking pants and uh if you saw like my videos a while back i had copped these from uh buffalo exchange one of my favorite stores but definitely paired them with these and also and also i paired it with this andy warhol painting bag right here so definitely i really love this outfit because this just this oversized flannel i love 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 wearing the flannel t-shirts with like no shirt on underneath it and just letting the chains flow and look sweet showing a little bit of skin getting a little sexy you know what i'm saying but yeah definitely and then it has like that oversized look it's not too big but it's definitely big enough and i love these pants and how it sits on there with it and like i said the tote bag just adds that extra oomph to the outfit i'm not really big on like having to be matchy matchy with my outfits so you see how like the red bag has all those different colors in it and things like that and it just, it really complements the outfit. Like, I don't know how to really explain it, but you can tell that it just goes together all in all. And I paired it with my Stan Smith. You guys know that's really, like, my only shoe that I really have. So, I definitely, it goes with that. Like I said, the Stan Smith shoe goes with literally. And when I say literally, it literally goes with every outfit. So, this is the perfect shoe. So, yeah, this is the first outfit. And for the second outfit, I have this Nautica flannel shirt. It's like a navy blue and white pattern on here. This outfit I actually posted on my Instagram the other, uh, was it yesterday or the day before that? Anyway, the other day I'm going to put it out right here. But this outfit, I definitely took a picture with this on. But I'm going to show you guys again because if you don't follow me on Instagram, I mean, how could you have seen it? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I mean, come on. Definitely, I love this flannel. This is one of my favorite flannel t-shirts, this Nautica one. This is a large, so it's not really really that oversized, but it still has that feel to it. So I have this Nautica shirt right here, and I paired it with these uh, Citizens of Humanity pants, well, jeans, denims. Um, I definitely love these denims. They have like these embroidered. At first, I thought this was like drawn on 
on the back of the pants, on the pockets. I thought these were drawn on, but these are actually like, I can't, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but these are definitely actually like embroidered on there. So these are definitely nice. They also have like that distressed bottom on the bottom of the jeans, which gives it that extra, you know what I'm saying, rugged look. Um, I've never had a pair of pants this color and I've never like really been into this color before. I've always thought like, ew, I don't like that. They just look weird. How, what outfit am I going to pull off with them? But when I saw them in the store, I definitely had to pick these up. So they go perfect with this outfit. And I also paired it with this racing, this vintage racing tee. Um, this tee was a little bit longer, so I cut it like the other day. Literally, I just cut it because I didn't like how long it was on my body. And it also has like the graphic on the back. But yeah, definitely these go well together because... I really like the flannel and t-shirt. Like, you can't go wrong with a flannel over a t-shirt. Like, I mean, obviously. That's, like, the obvious fit to go to. And I just feel like if you have a regular t-shirt on and then you throw a flannel over top of it, it just adds more to the outfit. Like, the outfit could have been cool with just the t-shirt. But once you threw that flannel on, it's just like, dang, it's something, it's something about it. That extra accessory. And I also paired it with... And I also paired it with the pink bag, as you guys can see in the video right now. That is a bag that I customized myself. It says, invest in your style, uh, buy more clothes. So I spray painted it. Um, I'm definitely going to be making more of these bags because I really love that pink on there. And I really just love that like graffiti look, that graffiti style. And who doesn't love tote bags? Like I said, I'm obsessed with tote bags. So I'm definitely going to make some more of those. But yeah, that is the second outfit. And for the third and final outfit, I have another Nautica like flannel t-shirt. This one is a double XL. So it definitely has that oversized feel to it, which I love with my flannel t-shirts. Like I really love my flannel shirts to be like a little bit oversized. Um, Hopefully I can find some that like are more like fitting like my size that I kind of like. But that oversized feel is definitely beautiful. I love this red and like this navy blue, that contrast. It looks really good together on this shirt. And this pattern is gorgeous. But I definitely have this red Nautica with a pair of Levi denims. A pair of 517 denims. You know what I'm saying? Just your regular old like denims. And they have like more of a wider bottom. Just like in those tan pants that I had. The bowling dog pants. But definitely I really love these denims right here. The thing about wearing black is my pants get really linty. And with this like cover on my bed is just so linty. So I really have a problem with like lint on these. So I'm going to try to like. Use the lint roller to get some of the lint off. But yeah, these are some 517 Levi denims. And then I paired them with a hoodie. This hand Preston and Jacuzzi basketball hoodie. If you guys been following me for a long time, you saw when I first picked this up when I was in New York. So I really, 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 really love this hoodie with the rhinestones on it. Like, so beautiful. I love this. And it also has... The basketball embroidery, not embroidery, it has the basketball rhinestones on the sleeve. And then it has that hair and Preston patch on there. So definitely love this collab. I had copped this from PacSun when they did like their little exclusive drop. But definitely love this hoodie. And another, this is another combination that you can't go wrong with. A hoodie with a flannel on, like for those colder days. I know it's hot outside, so if y'all see me sweating in this, um... You understand, but I had to get this video out for you guys. That's how committed I am. But yeah, I definitely had to pair this hoodie up with this flannel and the black denims. And right here, I have the Skecher Contics on. I think that's what the name of them is, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have the box no more, but I also made a YouTube video for those two. I did a review on the Skecher Contics. Like I said, I only have my Stan Smiths, but these Skechers right here, I, I actually have them for sale on my shop, but... Now that I paired them with this outfit, I'm kind of thinking about like keeping them. I don't know. Let me know if I should or not. And they come with three different laces, but the black laces go perfect with this outfit. But yeah, this is the third outfit. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope this was really helpful for y'all. If y'all like, I know some people out there, like I got a DM. Somebody asked me like how the style flannels a while, while back. And I'm thinking like, at first I thought it was like a self-explanatory way, but then I thought about it like, you maybe need like a little few tips sometimes to like see what certain things go with certain things. So, oh, and I forgot to tell y'all that I paired that last outfit with the spider like 
shoulder duffel bag. I mean, y'all saw it on me. My bad for not saying anything about it. But definitely paired it with that spider bag. I already got that spider bag for like $4 from like TJ Maxx like a long time ago. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that these were like helpful tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the outfits. Let me know what outfit y'all liked the best. Like which flannel and which outfit did y'all like the best. Um, Yeah, that's really pretty much it um i don't know what my next video is going to be about yet but if you guys have any tips or like any suggestions of any videos that you guys would like me to see i mean like me to make then comment below but yeah i hope you guys like my video you know what i'm saying what is grunge without a flannel shirt come on guys so if y'all like that grunge aesthetic and y'all don't have a flannel or like a flannel pattern t-shirt out there go get you a shirt go get you at least one that you could wear all the time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i want to thank everybody for subscribing me to my channel i want to thank everybody who is on the notification gang 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 you dig squad you know what i'm saying that's that i think i'm i think i got a new name for my my, my followers out there you dig squad let, let me know if that's catchy you dig squad you dig squad let me know i i, I think i want to call you guys your dig squad so Shout out to your dig squad, you know what I'm saying, the people who got the notification bell on there. Also, everybody who follows me, you know what I'm saying, for getting me past that 1,000 subscribers. I'm at like a 1,100 subscribers now, so let's keep this thing rolling. Let's keep the numbers going up, and I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys next video. It is your boy, Forrest Ripperton, and we are out. You did. Sheesh.